customization and gameplay of the EB110 Super Sport. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to the channel. Of course, today we're going to be going into the game. We just got two new Bugattis, part of the like new elite bundle that we have added. Nor the fact that I've got absolutely no bed sheets on, they're in the wash. But yes, we got two new Bugattis, the EB110 and the Gentle Diechi. We've got both of those in the game. And the same way that Noir was the Atlantic and then the Noir was like the, the newer version of the Atlantic, this is the old one and then a remake kind of thing. And we're gonna be going into that old one first. So without further ado, let's go into the game. And here we are, as you can see, we've got Dallas Run, the, the current summit that is currently going on. I mean, it's got a cool picture, I guess. If we go here, we did get two new events. We got a touring car event and a street event. And also to clarify this section you're watching right now, this section will be in both videos, so don't be confused if you watch both. Let's head over to the uh, let's head over to the store. This is because this is a bundle where you get both the cars in the bundle, and I want to show buying the cars for both, so you can watch them separately. So both of these videos have this section in them. So it's also a great section to remind you that only 30% of you are subscribed. So subscribe with notifications on. It would be very much appreciated. We, we've been doing some very original content with the Crew 2 recently. But here we are, the Elite Bundle. Now it's 2.5 mil. That is a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. I thought it would be nearing nearing uh three mil i how much are they individually does it say no nope, it doesn't and now i'm not bothered to check so i guess we're never gonna know but we will just like that have the eb110 and the gentle diechi both cars hypercar there we go bundle purchase and let's straight away take the eb110 for a test drive actually let's see which one we're in first Ooh, oh oh the Noir. Okay, the EB110 is very low rated. It's like the second lowest rated stock Bugatti. Not Bugatti, it's the second, it's the second lowest rated stock hypercar. Oh, it does look kind of cool from the back. It's simple. It's just so much simpler. Okay, it is very weird. Also, it's my first time really driving around, so the frames are going to take a minute to warm up. Seems to gear very, very slowly. I'm not gonna lie, it is very cool. Okay, ooh, it went around that turn quite nice. I mean, besides the, I don't know. It is a very cool car to be in the game. Like it really is. It looks very different from the side than any other angle. It gives me more Lamborghini vibes from the side, like ca classic Lamborghini. We are gonna be seeing what, uh, okay. Also, I'm surprised if you buy this thing in the bundle, it doesn't come in white. That's also surprising, you know? It would have been a bit of immersion. I mean, it handles very smoothly for now, for now. Of course, it's highly unlikely that it becomes, especially this thing, very unlikely that this thing becomes the best uh, hypercar, which it won't, but it will be a fun one to drive around, you know? It gives me the same vibe as like the Enzo Ferrari and other, other old school cars in the game like that. Like regardless of them being in the game now and how irrelevant that is, at least they're in the game. But speaking of, let's take this thing in to customize it yes customization has began okay i see i see everyone who skipped to this bit subscribe yes customization here we go okay so we do have visual customization that's more than we were able to save for both the atlantic and the oh and the noir we have a lot of visual carbon fiber okay oh is it just carbon fiber oh okay I am very surprised Bugatti let them get away with that. Okay, do we? That looks disgust. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Could I? I might do that one. Let me try that one for now. What is it with the yellow lights? Oh, that, like that's an entirely different front grille and that looks sick. What? Like that literally, that removes the whole Bugatti thing. The Bugatti little, the, the, the thing. How much convincing did Ivory Tower have to do? Okay, wide body. You can really race this thing, yes. Oh, now, oh, I couldn't. I could. Could I? I could. I could. I, could, I, I mean, I could, but I couldn't. Oh, surely not. Do we? Ah, uh, you know what? No, no, no. We'll go with the less riced one. We'll go with the less riced one. Actually, wait. Is that this one? But with the uh, with the front, like the ah, uh, I need. I want a mixture. I want 
the like side things with the lights and the bottom lip. I guess not. I guess not. Any other stock rims? Yes, there is. Okay, we got one other set of stock rims, but they look disgusting. Calipers. Never really changed the color of the calipers. Uh, okay, well, we can go with these, I guess. Or do we go with carbon fiber? Because I believe the front, yeah, the front thing there is carbon fiber. We'll go carbon fiber for now. Rear fender. What? Uh, um. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Um, um, what? Um, what? What? Um, what? Pardon? <laughs> Excuse me? What? What are you... <laughs> Can you not do that at the front? Um... Excuse me? <laughs> spoilers we got okay so we got just normal blacked out version we got uh a bit of a racier version okay uh oh oh that's a lot of carbon fiber but oh no that looks disgusting i'm not gonna lie we'll put this racier version on you know i'm um, i can't i can't i can't you know what you lot saw it and you see that it exists okay you lot saw that that exists it wasn't just it wasn't just me making it up here we go, let's look at the back. Again, completely changing parts about the car, which is quite interesting The Bugatti lets them get away with that. Whoa, okay. This thing looks very, like this thing has some customization. I am very happy with that. Very happy. <laughs> oh, I wish I put on the, uh, what the stock colors are though? Let me see this. Okay, we got the white, obviously, like the, the Cento Dieci white. Oh. So a naughty little red. Ooh, a naughty little red. A little Torino red, I see. A little Torino red. Okay, let's see the liveries first, because we're not going to have many. Obviously, I already know that. Okay, someone's already tried a race livery, which you know what? Considering it's this early, it's a fairly decent try. There's a Red Bull livery that doesn't seem to have ended up terribly. No, let me put that on for now, and we'll, we'll still look around for more. This just makes it look straight out of GTA. This, this literally makes it look like it's straight out of GTA. <laughs> like, this is my car that I would drive around in, like, five years ago, six years ago in GTA. Yeah, you know what? That blue is probably the best we're gonna get. So now it's time for some vanities, of course. Now, Red Bull. Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. So I assume we just, we could just go with the... I don't know, what do we go with? I guess yellow stuff to match the match the the yellow. We might just end up going with the squad X's. Yeah, you know what? We'll go with squad X's there. Here, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so there is yellow lightning, but I actually quite enjoy and don't put on enough cars. Yellow confetti smoke, which we got with the uh, no one's full summit. Natural wise, there's not really any other good yellows I have, so I guess we'll go. Do we go with the dark yellow? We'll go with the normal yellow. Underglow, I don't have a yellow underglow i always forget and white won't work i guess we're just well what do we do blue blue keeps it neutral you know red does contrast and matches the red bull thing but blue is neutral enough okay yes but let's of course get some parts on this thing there we go now that it's got its parts on it of course first we're going to toss it into a hype car event then stick around as we go into a PvP event later into the video. Okay, this thing does look quite sick from behind. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'd have to see with the nitro first, but um, this thing, yes, very, very, very cool. It's so wide as well. I mean, I don't remember what it was like when I was test driving it earlier, but it is wide. I can't imagine what this thing would look like if I actually put the the rear wheel covers on it. Like, uh, what other game lets you do this? Like, what other game? Like, sure, you can get mods with Need for Speed and do it, but what other base game lets you do this? Other than Forza. No one say Forza. Oh, yeah, this thing actually handles quite nice, you know? Apparently, the only fault of this thing is that it's slow gears. It gear shifts very slowly, but... I... Uh, okay. I don't know what my brain was doing there, but braking was not one of the things it was doing. I might whack it into manual, you know? See if I can do it in manual. This thing is very nice. It is very nice right now. It seems to have a lot of nitro power. The nitro on this thing feels very strong. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to have to see how much control this thing has. The blue underglow is definitely a good choice. 
And... Didn't hit a single tree. I'm going to count that. <laughs> that ended exactly how I thought it would. Okay, this thing is quite nice. You know what? You know what? Let's whack it into manual. Let me apply my button assignments and then controls sequential. Here we go. Okay, remember everyone, I am learning how to play manual still. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, come on. There we go. I am all over the place. You lot are lucky I haven't whipped out the wheel or this would actually be very entertaining content. Yeah, I, I give up already. I give up already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Overall, this is a net positive of a car added to the game. It's got in... Okay, Jesus. It's got insane customization. It's a fun car to drive. Yes, the slow gearing, but it, you don't really notice it too much. I think we are gonna have to whack this thing into PvP. Okay, here we go. The first race I actually loaded into, we managed to get it into a hypercar event. Now, I do first have to look for the EB10. Look for the EB10. Where is the EB10? Brand, uh, Bugatti, EB10, 110. Same thing. Okay, you know what? I couldn't find it and I found it regardless. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the name of the car is. Oh, okay, we've started at the back, which means we have the most slipstream, so it's not the worst. Oh, I forgot we don't have Nitro, do we? No. Okay, okay. It's always weird seeing a new car interact with all the other the cars that have been in the game, but... Here we are, and we're in first instantly. Oh, no, no! Oh, now it's the catch-up game. Oh, chill, Galeo. Okay, we're fifth. I only see three people ahead of me, but apparently we're fifth. I assume two of them are very close together. We're, we're now fourth. Okay, we're catching up on third. Here we go. Easy slipstream overtake as we made one of the turns at the start. So this thing just slides! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I made the turn at the start clean, but... Blimey, does this thing just slide? Okay, now we're in a bit of a sticky situation. Okay, no, we're not. Okay, I thought first and second were slipstreaming. No, they're, they're, they're not. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Without pro settings, this thing is useless. It is absolutely all over the gaff. Like, it's a cool car to use, but Jesus. This thing actually just draws its racing lines with a blindfold on. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened there, but we ended up in first. That was actually a spin-out that ended up beneficial. It also looks very cool going through the woods here. The fans at the back are also very cool. And it'll be cool to see this thing on the podium as well. I'm not gonna lie, I think we've done it. As long as we have no major mess-ups now, it's just between me and this guy in first. Oh? oh I, ju I just have to pay attention. Don't spin out. Thank you. Okay, we've got 10% left, but he's gaining. No. Ah. Go away. No. He's going to catch. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yep. I should have slowed down a bit. Let him get the slip and go ahead of me. And then I should have slipstreamed him to the win. We lost by two tenths of a second. You hate to see it, boys. You hate to see it. Well, let's see the podium. But we had a little comeback story. We went from last to first. So then just being overtaken in the end. But there we go, the EB110. So there we go. Of course, later on after this episode, you'll probably see like an hour after this, depending on this comes out. Whether this comes out at 2, you'll see the uh, Chento the Echi at 3. If this comes out at 3, then you'll see the Chento the Echi at 4. And then I'm streaming at 5. So, you know, busy day, boys. Busy, busy. But thank you so much to everyone who makes this video possible, like the popular members. A special thank you to the famous members and an insane, an insane thank you to Icon members for the love of life, Sid Wadge's daddy, and I'm on delay. Thank you to all of you. So much love to every member and a lot of love to all of you watching. Every single one of you. Because the channel's been on an insane one recently and I can't thank any of you enough. We literally, we, we doubled in sub count within the span of a couple weeks. It was, it was borderline weeks, borderline days. It was like a span of two weeks and a bit that we went from 3K to 7K. What? But here we are, boys, now. Here we are. So that is about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. 
and a bit. Spill, so I'm cleaning up a mess, yeah I Gotta go to church, feel the demons at my neck, yeah When I'm on a pill, I be feeling like I'm blessed, it's a curse When I'm on the drugs, I'm the worst, shawty Tell me how it feels, tell me does it hurt Tell me if it's wrong when I'm lifting up your shirt, shawty Tell me if it's real, 